All right. It's gray. Let's get some red on the table. <laughs> you see my awful gyrate camera there. Let's get this foil off of it. Go, Lannister crossbowmen. I feel like having some reigns of Castormir playing over this. I'm sure that's heavily copyrighted. Anyway, 12 miniatures, one unit card, one movement tray, three, 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 and three. All right, okay, that's interesting. Because normally they come in like four, four, one, and three because of the banner man, but this makes sense. This also means a bit more variety. Slightly sad that there's no banners, but actually I'm not sad. Makes sense, I suppose. I still think they have a, a banner to wave around for like, fire now, or like we're ready to fire or whatever. <clears throat> so let's look at the unit card real quick. Wow, okay. So I actually haven't looked at it in great detail, but they're, they're they cost six. Which is one more than a set of guards. Let's see what they can do. Oh, sorry about that. So, movement five, decent. Three plus to hit, it's great. And they don't lose attack dice unless they're down to the last one. <coughs> oh, terribly sorry about that. They do have a short sword. I mean, compared to a Lannister guard unit, this is not bad at all. So they're almost like a infantry unit that can shoot. Uh, armor is not so great, even though they look quite heavily armored from what I can tell. Uh, that's kind of a... Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I like that they're not super strong, but it's a bit of a disconnect. Anyway, A plus their morale is not great. Their ability, long range with the crossbow, sundering, defender suffers minus one to their defense rolls, which makes total sense. Uh, I believe somewhere that you can shoot over terrain, but there might actually be the bows with the, like, because they're more indirect fire and these are direct fire and you get sundering instead. Yeah, actually I can't check because I haven't un unboxed those yet. Anyway, sorry. I'm into rambling territory again. Uh, let's see, so this is the remainder of the box, 12 miniatures. I will quickly open that, there we go. So three of each as we saw. So this is guy number one. Taking aim, I mean, to me that certainly looks like plate armor. Bracers, a metal helmet. These also look like metal. Oh, sorry. Uh, these also look like metal. No, they're not metal plates, but they're. Okay, I'm quickly gonna grab a Lannister guard and a Halberd gear real quick just to compare. So I believe Lannister guards has a 3 plus save. Let's see. I mean. You know what? The Lannister Guards do not even have a metal breastplate. They have metal other bits, but not a breastplate. I do have their shield. Oh, it's not focusing, sorry. I'm not looking through the camera, I'm looking at my hand here. Um, let's see the guards, or the... Uh, yeah, same deal here. And these guys have a 4-up, and these guys have a 5-up, but this is definitely a metal breastplate, which neither of the other units have. And there are no short sword models on here. Again, I know, it's very nitpicky, but I do like to see that they're able to defend themselves. I mean, it could have just been a little knife pouch instead of one of these, like a tiny scabbard, <laughs> just something. I don't know. I think there's a little bit of... Okay, 
I'm super nitpicky with this stuff, but yeah. It's a little bit of disconnect between rules and models there. But you know what? They can always be FAQ'd, which I'm sure there will be loads of as this game takes off. Alright. Three of those. Three of the next guy. It's a sitting guy. They should probably be up front. Yeah. Put those there. The next dude. Three of these. There we go. And let's have a look at the last model. It's a guy ready to pull the trigger by the look of it. Very nice unit. So far the first unit I've unboxed without a banner. Okay. Well, I'm sure there will be plenty useful in the game. Well, I, actually I don't know. I haven't... So I haven't seen any battle reports with ranged units yet. And I'm a little bit dubious about the the range of them compared to movement range and charge range and stuff so I haven't read if you can overwatch or anything but I have a feeling you have to be really on top of your movement game to use ranged units like even the big war machines that have been announced now or even even those appear to just be long range they cause massive damage if they hit though but I don't know We'll see. I, I really have to play with ranged units to see because I haven't seen anyone do it yet. But I can tell you one thing for sure. The very first game I play will feature a ranged unit. Hopefully it'll be on camera, but I can't promise that. Okay. That's it for this unboxing. I am going to open some Stark Longbowmen. Or Bowmen. Now. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it a little bit useful. See ya.